The Real World, New Orleans is the 24th season of MTV's reality television series The Real World, which focuses on a group of diverse strangers living together for several months in a different city each season, as cameras follow their lives and interpersonal relationships. It is the third season of The Real World to be filmed in West-South Central States region of the United States, specifically in Louisiana. The season featured eight people who lived in a house in uptown New Orleans. It is the fourth season to take place in a city that had hosted a previous season, as the show's ninth season was set in New Orleans in 2000. New Orleans was first reported as the location for the 24th season in a December 2009 article on the website Vevmo. Pre production began on December 2, 2009, and production lasted from January to April 24, 2010. It premiered on Wednesday, June 30 of that year, and averaged nearly 2 million viewers for the season, a 25% increase from the previous season, and ranked as the number one cable program for Wednesday night's 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. time slot among viewers aged 12 to 34. The season premiere was watched by 1.26 million viewers. It consisted of 12 episodes. Topic: <inaudible> Assignment. Most seasons of The Real World, beginning with the 5th season, have included the assignment of a season-long group job or task to the housemates. Continued participation in the assignment has been mandatory to remain part of the cast since the Back to New York season. This season, like the preceding season in Washington, D.C., did not require roommates to take part in a group job. However, this season's cast was offered opportunities to volunteer together at various locations. Pre-production announcements by Bunham Murray Productions indicated that the cast would participate in Hurricane Katrina recovery activities, with co-creator and executive producer John Murray stating in a news release, "...Hurricane Katrina threw New Orleans for a punch, but the city is coming back and we're hoping our cast members and the series can play a small role in the city's rebirth." NOLA.com viewed this announcement as an attempt by Bunham Murray to reverse the series' reputation as a den of immature and irresponsible behavior on the part of its young cast members. The cast provides assistance to the homeless by working at the New Orleans Mission, and building homes with Habitat for Humanity. The residents The cast lived at a house at 1633-1635 Dufosset Street, in uptown New Orleans. According to Sotheby's website, the 9,860-square-foot house, which is currently on the market for $1.7 million, features seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a landscaped front garden, a pool, historic mantles, and an additional apartment equipped with a full kitchen that can be used for an entertainment room or separate quarters for guests or live in staff. The house, which is located 1.7 miles .7 kilometers from the Belfour Mansion used as the residence for the ninth season, was owned by Baron Davis of the Cleveland Cavaliers, who paid $1.5 million in 2002 for the property, which was featured on an episode of MTV Cribs. Because the cast was housed in a residential unit instead of a commercial building this season, it was not furnished by IKEA, as residences in recent past seasons. <laughs> Police incident 
On March 1, 2010, New Orleans 2nd District Police were summoned to the house by cast member Ryan Leslie, who complained that his housemate, Preston Robertson Charles, with whom he had an argument three weeks earlier, urinated on his toothbrush, and used it to scrub in the inside of a toilet bowl, causing a subsequent sore throat and fever that required Leslie to go to the hospital on February 21, where he was treated for a viral infection. According to Leslie, Robertson Charles previously called Leslie a faggot and threatened to take some action against Leslie's belongings. Leslie learned that Robertson Charles had soiled his toothbrush only after Leslie had been using it for two weeks. Police confiscated Leslie's toothbrush as evidence, but did not take a statement by Robertson Charles. The police report did not indicate whether the police viewed video footage shot in the house while investigating the complaint. Executive producer Jim Johnston declined to comment. Officer Gary Flott, a New Orleans Police Department spokesman, opined that Leslie may have merely wanted the incident documented, as the police would have likely issued a municipal summons to both roommates in order for a judge to determine if a crime had been committed, had Leslie wanted to press charges. Flott further suggested that the incident may have been contrived to generate publicity for the series. Robertson Charles's soiling of Leslie's toothbrush, as well as Leslie's soiling of Robertson Charles's cigarettes by rubbing them on his anal cleft, were both depicted in Episode 4. The summoning of the police was depicted in Episode 6. Topic. Cast This was the fourth season of Real World in to feature a roster of eight roommates living together. The next season returned to a roster of seven roommates. Topic. Duration of cast Table key Feet equals cast member is featured on this episode. Kick equals cast member is evicted out of the house and show by the other roommates. Feet equals cast member makes an appearance. Notes Topic Episodes Topic After filming The Real World – New Orleans Reunion premiered on September 22, 2010, and was watched by 1.69 million viewers. It was hosted by Maria Menonos, and featured the entire cast, as they discussed their time during filming and their lives since the show ended. Since filming, Ashley and Preston returned to Boston, where they continue to be friends, though Preston ended his relationship with Marty. Mackenzie returned to Jupiter, Florida, to finish her final year at college studying social psychology, while remaining in a long-distance relationship with Grant. Ryan returned to his father's salon in Arizona, and stated that despite having wanted to move out of Arizona, his time in New Orleans led to a change of heart. Eric became a full-time stand-up comic, and stated that he no longer works for the State Department. Sahar returned to Dearborn, Michigan, where she continues to work on music, and remains in a relationship with Pablo. Jemmy and Knight returned to New Orleans, where they were in the process of moving in together, as Knight did promotional work for his friend's clothing boutique. Ryan's differences with his roommates were a central focus in discussing the cast's time during filming, including accusations of homophobia on his part, the bitter animosity between him and Preston, and the incident involving Ashley's missing Percocet. 
Ryan indicated that he attended the reunion because he was forced to, and was defiant in the face of questions by Menonos and the cast. Other issues discussed were Ryan's vacillation between kindness and abusiveness, Sahar's dismissal of the notion that she cheated on Pablo with Eric, Mackenzie's behavior when drunk, Gemai's past struggles with domestic violence and her relationship with Knight, and Ashley's love of gossip and involvement in other people's personal affairs. In 2017, Preston spoke about being homeless for two years after his stint on MTV. Ashley is a radio personality in Boston. She works with Santi Dialeo on the Ramiro and the Jammin' 94.5 morning show on Jammin' 94.5. Death of Ryan Knight On November 27, 2014, four years after the season aired, Ryan Knight was found dead at the age of 28, following a house party in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Several of Knight's friends indicated that he had been out partying Wednesday night November 26 with a bunch of people and ended up at a friend's house. One friend discovered his dead body on Thanksgiving morning, Thursday, November 27, stating he had choked on his own vomit. Several people who were in contact with Knight while he was partying mentioned he had taken some pills, but they were not specific, while saying Knight was upbeat Wednesday night. Knight stated he was dating someone new who made him extremely happy. No official cause of death was determined until March 2015, when autopsy results determined that Knight died of acute mixed drug and alcohol intoxication. Prior to his death, Knight participated in three challenges see table below, and Knight's final challenge appearance, Battle of the Exes 2, which aired in early 2015, was dedicated in his memory. Topic: The Challenge. Challenges in bold indicate the cast member was a finalist on the challenge. <laughs> 